What's going on, dudes and dudettes? Welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast Endeavor with your pal Super Turtle here. Guys, today we're going to be going over all of this shenanigans. We're going to be getting this stuff moved into a room and connected up to our refined storage system. So yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun. All right, so this is the room I have cleared out for us. Uh, we're going to be uh, making these guys kind of like little strips going down. We're going to have a drawer controller in the middle, and then we're going to run a cable from our our base over here and then kind of over here to uh, to to have all of those there. So we're going to need to make a couple of things to get this far departed. So let's go ahead. I don't know why it does this. This is weird. The FTB chunks up here is good. I should probably chunk load these, by the way. We're going to do that as well. And if we hold shift and drag, yeah, as you can see, they are force loaded. Cool beans. All right, so we need to go ahead and make a bunch of these drawer controllers. Now, I do have everything to make them. We should be able to make, yeah, about 30 of them, which is way more than we need. But I'm not one to complain. And then going to make quite a few of these, actually. Probably half a stack. And then we'll make half a stack of these. I have to do this one by one because I don't want to go over. Because if I shift click, we might lose like all of the remaining stuff that we have. Okay. So there we go. Those guys are in there. And then we can just go ahead and make some chests. Cool. I also found the super cool crafting thingamabob to do that. And you can just convert these guys into normal chests after that. So pretty neat. It'll save you some time if you want to do it. All right, so we got 32 external storages, the perfection. We need some cables, cables, perfect. All right, so we're going to go ahead and test this out real quick before we get started. So we do have our um, our dirt essence and our water essence over here. So what we're going to do is put a drawer controller just next to it. And then we're going to go ahead and connect this up to our ME system. And that was a little bit fast. So if we just do this, we should see the essence. That is correct. Uh, we can pull out of it, put stuff back in, and it's just like that perfect. So it is working. I uh, just wanted to test and make sure. You know, it's always good to test things, right? All right. So the design I was thinking about... Oh, we can't do the design yet. We have to make the drawers. I almost forgot. I feel dumb. Okay, so we're going to be using for in here probably just the birch stuff we've been using previously. So I'll grab a bunch of this. This v Pablo Verdi, right? Pablo, Paulo Verdi, not Pablo Verdi. I feel stupid. All right, it's going to require us to craft it normally. All right, so I actually think I'm going to go ahead and make the uh, the four by four for these guys because um, we get this essence. It's the pink essence. I forget what it's called. The fertilized fertilized essence. It's a ten percent drop. We get this. It can make I guess instantly grows a crop or sapling so we can utilize this and we're going to be having a spot for these guys to go because right now we don't really have anywhere for them to go uh, they just kind of get voided out and I really don't want to keep doing that so let's go ahead and get that all good to go and then we can turn these into normal chests I know you don't have to but I won't I won't do okay All right, so we got a stack there. We have plenty. Holy crap, I didn't realize how many that gave us. I wouldn't have made as much. Okay. All right, so being in here, we're going to have an entrance kind of come over here. I don't have any blocks to really show you guys. So we'll just we'll just grab some from over here. Because we are going to extend it out this way quite a bit still. Um, so we're going to have an entry like this. Kind of like a hallway then it's going to split. We want one, two, three here. And so it's going to split into four directions. So we can go like this, like that. I'm out of blocks again. Sad times. Okay, this is just to get a, a rough feel of it. So this is the entrance. You know you're coming in. It's going to go this way. Each one of these little areas is going to have different um, like setups. Uh, so say one is going to be for the infirmium, one's going to be for like uh, like the the water dirt stuff, and then the other it, it's going to be it's going to be separated. Just trust me, it's going to look really good. So what this means is that we can set up our 
drawers like so. So they're going to be separated, keep them separated, and uh, they're going to be like this. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Actually, if we do it that close, we're not going to be able to do it on that side as well. So we'll come out maybe two more blocks. And so that will allow us to have three here and three there. And if you look, we got perfect distance. All right. So this is where we're going to start them. And then each of these are going to have a hopping botany pot on top of them. And then the drawer controllers are going to be down below. Drawer controller, drawer controller. I should really think about making a jetpack here pretty soon. Drawer controller. And then below that, we're going to have to have kind of a little room down here as well to have all of our like wiring and stuff like that. And so down here, we have the external storage, like so. And then the cable linking linking between them yeah like that perfect okay so yep anything that goes in there we'll be able to see now shui ahayom okay so we need the botany pots yep these are all hopper botany pots i do need to go ahead and make some more of these i do have some kind of processing up but we'll have to wait a little bit for that all right, and then each of these are going to have amazing essence in them. So here, here, here. And then here, here, here. Now, we might need to switch the orientation so that when you come in, you see them, because we're only going to go around a certain distance like that. Uh, and then the cool, cool thing is we can also put extra storage in here as well. Or we could just pipe all of the, uh, the essence in. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this far departed. We're going to need to get some uh like a locking key I, if do I, do I already have one no i do not so if we type in key here you can see we have the drawer key this is what we need and we have enough for it perfect so this will lock the contents of whatever is in the drawer so that you can take um all of these out as you can see we've taken all of them out there's no essence in here but it's locked in so nothing else can fill that spot other than the diamond essence so we are definitely going to be doing that. So I'm super duper excited. But we need to go ahead and do these. We're going to start off with coal first. And do we have? Nope, we don't have the good farmland for coal, which we're going to need to go ahead and do. So we need to go hop into mystical agriculture. Like so. I went ahead and made up uh, 17 Supremium Essence. We can go ahead and do that. We just need a hoe. Bam. That's going to break. That's okay. All right. So we have 18 of those. We got some coal seeds. Let's go ahead and get these filled up. So, yeah. Boom, boom. Boom, and then boom, boom, boom. Now, we can go ahead and get Insanium in here as well, uh, but we do need to kind of go ahead and start crafting that up. But we can start to lock some of the stuff in. I believe I have some Essence over here, so we can set the, the thing, right? Unless I have it. Oh, I have it on me. Perfect. That's even better. All right, then we're going to take the Seeds, Essence, Seeds, and we are going to fill these guys up so that each of these has a place to go. All right. So essence top left. And then seeds are going to be top right. Unfortunately, there's no way to have three of these. So I'm a little bit bummed. And then we're going to have the essence in the bottom left. Like so. And then we can lock, lock lock so now nothing can actually fill that spot but it'll fill up the other ones as well perfect i'm excited and then we'll need to put some storage upgrades in here eventually a as the whale but then boom 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 
Yeah, so this is going to be the ores area. Like we're going to have like the copper, like the resources, so like diamond, redstone, all of that will be in here. I don't know how big we're going to make this, but we do need to focus on lighting because that will be a problem. And I actually need to flip these around. And then down at the end might be a good idea. Or we could just have a recipe in our crafting system to just craft up the ends, the stuff we need. But it is another crafting step that doesn't need to be there. So I don't, I don't really know. But this is how we're looking. Yeah, that's going to be sick. All right, so you, you, you. And then we can have an elevator down at the end or at the beginning for where we, uh, we get all the stuff. By stuff, I mean stuff. Okay, and then because this has essence already in it, we should be able to place this no problem. Yep, there you go. Yep, there you go. And bam, so check it out. Walk in. Yeah, I like that a lot. So we actually might just break one of these blocks off here. Could even do two to give us kind of some some looking views at it. Very cool. What do we have for lights? Um, got a edge light. That might not actually be a bad idea. It's not very expensive. All right, give me a moment here. I'm gonna look into this. All right, guys, so we've done a little bit of work in here since I last left off. Cool thing is you guys can't see what it looks like even with the map. So check it out. This is what we got going. We got it cleared out. We got these super duper cool lights. These are dynamic edge lights from Simply Light. They, they look amazing. You can also get ones up top, which I do think I'm going to go ahead and do at the top of these basalt pillars. Uh, but yeah, this is the setup that we're going to be going for. I do have an elevator block here to get us down low. And down here gives us access to the external storage drawers, these guys that we have set up. Uh, we'll just be setting these up every couple of blocks. So, yeah, unfortunately, we are out of marble, so I can't really add any more to find out, you know, when to stop. I could always just dig down a couple blocks and find out pretty easy there. But kind of need to start moving some items over here already. So that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, I need to get rid of that ladder there. So... Uh, what I'm going to be doing here is uh, collecting some of these while also moving them. Because, you know, those are those are the same thing. All right, so we got some diamonds here. We can come back here as well, add in some of these. Very cool. We can get diamonds started right there. We do have an extra seed over here as well. And we also need to focus on getting some obsidian so that we can put void upgrades on all of these so that when they do max out the storage here, uh, we have the ability to void the extra so it doesn't get stuck. Well, I mean, with it being locked, we probably just leave it like that. Actually, we don't need any void upgrades. Who? what am I thinking? I feel stupid. But yeah, so we got the diamonds over there. Do we have anything else? That we, oh, we have a fight. Let's go kill some people. Rrr. You're dead. All right. Pillagers, dead. Where are you at? You want to die? Ouch. There we go. Got him. Got him. Bad omen. It's okay. We're not that bad. And my name is an omen. Okay, so these are quartz enriched. Yep, we're going to downgrade these just to two, uh, unfortunately. I think we have six of these going, which is really crazy to think about. Actually, I think it's seven because we have the five here, and I believe we have two more. Oh, no, one of these is normal iron, which we need to get three of those, so that'll be a, a great upgrade. So we'll just grab these while we're at it. We can grab the silicone as well. And then we'll obviously have to move the storage over. I'm not grabbing these uh, drawers because we don't have enough items. Yep, we're grabbing more silicone and more botany pots. I do have more being made up here. Well, not really being made up, but uh, I have the materials getting made up. Oop, we break. 
Okay, we don't need that. We can grab the seeds. We desperately need that. We don't need the ominous banner. Okay, so let's get these bad boys placed in here. I've just been enjoying the new NF album while I've been building here. If you guys don't know who that is, he's got some great songs. Go check him out. I think you'll love him. All right. Ooh, we have enough to finish up all the botany pots on this side. Very cool. Okay, so right back behind here, I think we're going to do um, probably the iron seeds. And then here we can do nether quartz. And then here we'll do the quartz enriched iron. And then back here, oh, wait, we're not putting anything in there, are we? Okay, so this is nether quartz, and then there we go, and then silicone. And then we'll make that one. We'll put the insanium here. Eventually, we're going to upgrade all of these to the insanium, but we don't have that production yet. The middle area here is just going to be inferium seeds, so I'm probably just going to have them to swap these storage uh, drawers out and just put the... Uh, the, uh, the one by ones here for the the inferium because we don't really need any seeds after we get them all set up so and then we have plenty of seeds have you guys seen how many seeds we have over these I mean because we've had these running since like episode two and I've gone AFK for several hours we have uh, yeah we have a lot we have over four th right around four thousand I believe three three we have twenty eight like twenty nine hundred which is crazy. We don't need that many seeds for that. Uh, so I'm actually just going to go ahead and swap them out now. So we got these swapped out with the uh, just the, the singles here. Uh, so what I got to go ahead and do now is uh, probably clear out my hot bar like this. Uh, best bet would probably be to go like that. And then just kind of go through these guys. Uh, and then we'll take the key and we'll kind of lock these in here. So it should be pretty cool. I found out there's 21 drawers. Uh, so we'll have each of these going with the obviously the, the Insanium uh, so that we can uh, grow these super fast. But this is going to be a ridiculous amount of Inferium that we're going to be getting. And I know what you guys are probably thinking. You know, this is probably a... a pretty inefficient way of doing it you know there's a lot of drawer controllers and external storage buses and stuff like that um i know that i actually want to do it like this so what i want you guys to do is if you think i'm doing this in a wrong way show me what way you think i should be doing that and to do that go ahead and you can join the Discord server, get my information to send me a direct message, and you guys can direct message me in Discord if you want. I would love to see what kind of setups you guys are running because I honestly, like, I think this will be really aesthetically pleasing. We'll have some archways kind of going over it. I just think it'll look really cool. That's the only reason I'm doing it this way. I know it's very inefficient when it comes to resources, but again, this stuff here will probably get us our the resources we need, so I don't really need to worry about that. But we do have the key here, so we can go ahead, and I'll have to lock each of these because we don't have the drawer controllers on here, which is a, a little bit of a, a poo-poo, you know, poo-poo, chicka poo So we'll go ahead and click these guys. Did I get them all? Yeah. And so then we can start putting the seeds in, and I'm super happy about that, you know, getting some massive Inferium production going we'll see how much lag i get it'll probably be a, a lot so uh here we go we'll put the seeds in and bam bam we'll have uh quite a few of these now i did in order to make the thumbnail for when we started really getting into the batania or not the batania i keep calling this batania the um the mystical agriculture stuff it did cause quite a bit of lag while they were growing uh but that was like a solid like 20 by 20. So there were a freaking lot of those guys there. So that could hopefully be why it was like that. If not, yeah, okay. Um, that freaked me out for a second, sorry. So we're going to go ahead and grab these guys because we can use this uh, Insanium, S or the ins yeah, the Insanium farmland uh, to finish out that row. Uh, and then we can start up the next one. Because we should have one side completely done now. Yes. 
All right, perfect. Beautiful. They're all locked in. Man, this is, this is going to generate a crap ton of resources for us. Oh, man, I can't wait. Okay, so right now I'm grabbing all of the leftover Inferium we have. There should be a lot here. And we're going to be using the magnet to kind of bring this stuff with us. Yeah, there's a lot of essence here. Okay. So the magnet's getting used a heck ton. We have three... Oh, we got to go. We have 300,000 RF left in this guy. Yep, it's working. All right, how much do we have? Just getting it over here. Ooh, we went through 20,000 power peoples. I don't know what to call them. All right. So I'm going to make a massive amount of supremium so that we can go ahead and see how much of this we can make. All of that essence. Ooh, we get to fill up our inventory at least once. Cool. So then the next tier. Look at that. Massive amounts. That's not a lot. That's a lot less than I thought it would be. All right, so it's more than last time, which means we should be able to finish that off. But I do think we are missing the dirt to make it. Believe it or not, we don't have the stuff for dirt. Uh, we can always just make the dirt. That's a pretty good way to do it. <sighs> yeah. Just sucks we got to waste some of our essence to make dirt. Can't win them all, though. Okay, plenty of dirt now. Uses should have a hoe in here. Yep, I made a diamond one just for this. I know it feels like kind of a waste if you ask me. And bam, 22 there. So we can go ahead and finish off all the supremium. So cool. And then, oh my gosh, when we have all of these guys going, oh, it's going to be nucking futs. <laughs> no, I didn't swear there. I said nucking futs. Yep, you heard right. All right, check these bad boys out. And boom, all of the Inferium seeds are in. Now, it might cause a little bit of lag because we don't have anywhere for the Inferium seeds to go or the Essence. I don't believe it'll be a big problem. It hasn't been for me in the past. I don't know about this version, though. But, uh, yeah, that is the Inferium seeds part done uh, i can go ahead and clear we'll just do that because i'll run into it if i just go straight um let's see yep just go this way and there it is last one and we can go ahead and start to uh break some of these guys so, yeah, we'll clear out this area down here. I won't do that with you guys on camera because that's just grindy. But, yeah, so next part is adding the beams that go over. Uh, now, I might actually need to kick this wall out one more, and I would like to have glass, like, right here going all the way up, kind of separating these two so we can look in and be like, hey, what's going on over there? Or be like, hey, what's going on over there? So... I think it'll look cool. We'll also have those arches going. So I might need to knock this back one more wall or one more block. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And we'll see what it looks like. All right. So I've got to push out another block here. And I don't think I like it too much. Uh, I don't know if it's just the angle I'm trying to do. Because I definitely don't want to do that. Maybe I do. That looks a little bit weird. Um, but I think I might need to go up one more block than trying to do that. Because if I come out with these over the other side, I don't know how it looks. Let's do it. Let's see how it looks together. It's growing on its own. Okay. So, yeah, we're pulling these out. Whoop. And then we have the weird. This is going to look a little off. Yeah, because that'll come out like this. Um, let's take a look then. Yeah, we're definitely going to need to go up a block if we decide to do this. Which isn't a big deal, but it will take some you know, time to uh, move it up one because 
If we look here, there is some terracotta, so I'm pretty sure this is the surface. Or this might be the surface of a hill. Yeah, so if we look there, you can see there's sky. But we do have an extra block there than I thought we did, so that's a plus. Uh, oh, I fall down. So, yeah, we'll be seeing um, how that goes. I don't know if I'm going to do that. Let me know what you guys think about the arches in the comment section. I'd love to get your guys' feedback. Or if you do have a suggestion, again, you guys can hit me up on Discord. You message me directly, and I will message you back. So, yeah, I'd love to see what you guys think about that, about this, because it's pretty neat. It's pretty neat, you know. All right, guys, that is all the time we have for today. Remember, guys, we are partnered over with MC Pro Hosting. They sponsor the modded and vanilla fan server. So if you guys want to go ahead and join those, make sure to check the Discord link down below, and it'll take you through all the steps. Also, remember that you can get a discount on your first month with them using code Turtle Club. Uh, yeah, so make sure you go check out MC Pro Hosting. They got some amazing customer service and great servers. We've never had a problem with ours. So, guys... If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But that'll be Super Turtle in Feed the Beast Endeavor. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Take care. Bye-bye.